So, always an exciting time, a start of a new project. So what we have here is next walking stick. Uh, found this one in the forest. It's been there for a bit. Um, from what I can tell, a uh, nice solid piece of ash. Has a couple of splits, a couple of checks in it. That'll be filled in with some epoxy. But what I found is I've already taken off some of the bark. I don't know if you can see this already. But I have seen evidence, uh, I think you can see it there. Um, there's some spalting in this wood, which means there's going to be some beautiful coloring in the wood. I've just uh, lightly taken off the bark so far. Uh, we're going to do a uh, wood spirit. The client has asked for a wood spirit and a very big sturdy stick. He's, uh, he's about 6'3", 260, so he wants something very, very sturdy, much larger than I... I normally make for myself um, so this one's going to be a nice one it's uh i don't know it's about five and a half feet right now so we're going to put the face somewhere around here so first thing we're going to uh, strip off the rest of the bark and uh, get going on that stay tuned <laughs> Establishing where the handle's gonna go. I always, uh, this would be comfortable for me, and uh, this guy's about three, four inches taller. So I think we're gonna go from here to here, leave room for the uh, wood spirit on top, start trimming down where the handle goes, and that'll set the diameter for all the rest. So we trimmed down quite a bit of the diameter and we've gotten to a point where I want to start filling in that check with a little bit of epoxy. So we're going to mix a little two-part epoxy, a little bit of black pigment, which is just a little bit of acrylic black paint. And we're going to fill that in. So slowly filling in, tinted a little black epoxy and uh, just waiting for the air bubbles to rise up. You see one there forming. We'll pop that and keep going until these uh, checks can't absorb anymore. Looks like that one needs a little bit more. So it's a process. It's uh, fill it in, let gravity do its work, and keep filling. <laughs> So we sanded the majority down, did a little bit of a detail here where the handle fits, sanded most of this down. We'll add more detail. Here's all the nice black epoxy. What we're going to do now, 
let's get on to the uh, wood spirit. So I've started penciling in, first made a center line, and then just did blocks. Uh, there's a little check here, and I'm going to make, uh, I'll see if I can fit it going through the eye. Uh, that'll be filled in once we get the general shape with more of the black epoxy. So that's what we're going to do now with the Dremel, get going on the wood spirit. Switch to a uh, finer bit, an HSS burr, and we're starting to do just the little details, trying to get around the eyes and start forming out the nose. Still very blocky, but we're starting to get the crevices in. So got uh, most of the face laid out. There's still a lot of detail for all the hairs to do, but we're going to trim down the uh, the top here. It's a bit too long, and before we do any details on it, let's just trim this up.
we're doing is we're putting on some uh, some teak oil. And, uh, you can see it's really darkening up this uh, this ash, and you're seeing all the nice grain patterns a little bit where we did the infill with the epoxy. And it's going to make a nice pattern. Looks like we're complete with this latest walking stick. See here we have our uh, nice wood spirit. And you really see all that grain. Look at that ash come out. Nice shine to it. We gave it a little, uh, little paste wax finish. See there where we did the infill. Little uh, epoxy, black epoxy infill for that check that formed. But look at that grain pop out. All the different colors, different shading. See all the nice wormholes that came through. Little natural shading here at the bottom of the beard. A little bit of a black infill we did there also in the beard where there was a little check. A little epoxy. And uh, that one came out nice, a little taller. But uh, client's about six foot three, so it's a little bit bigger than my normal one. Hope you enjoyed the build. This one came out really good. If you like the video, please hit the uh, like. And if you're not subscribed, uh, I really appreciate your, uh, your support. So hit that subscribe button. And I uh, hope you enjoy this one. I, I really like the way this one came out. The, obviously, the wood did most of the work with this beautiful grain in it. But uh, I think it came out great. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good one.